to the channel opinions matter um, sharp last year we saw uh, about the 8k camera and uh, we were super excited about 8k now why we are super excited about 8k because few factors 8k's are can be downscaled to 4k's and they're good for doing short films and and uh, you know like documentaries and stuff like that so this product was there last year um, we were totally excited thought that by 2019 end or 2020 beginning it will launch but it is scheduled to launch uh, somewhere end of this year 33 megapixel camera with a micro four third sensor built it on it uh, will it be good in low light actually yes it is going to be good in low light now do not expect a full frame sensor kind of or a super 35 quality which the black magic pocket cinema 6k is having um, it will be running 8k at 30 fps uh, and for other details on the codec and everything we do have a sharp representative who is going to talk about this in the channel we are going to introduce him very soon and uh, since it's using a micro four third sense anything that is an mft mount you can use it on the sharp now a lot of other cameras they do not have brighter displays like the sharp has uh, that is, I think, the biggest punchline of any sort of cameras that are made in 2020. They should have higher nits display. That's where the Sharp comes into play. It's a massive display with a higher, higher nits on it. Also, one more stuff you're going to notice is that uh, this display can be swiveled around. So it's a swivable display like this, which means that if somebody wants to do a low angle shot, uh, it's actually very helpful. Now, uh, quickly, I will show you one stuff. Uh, this is actually Tekaton's uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema. Now the problem is that with, with Blackmagic is that, first of all, there is no problem. But uh, the second only thing I hate about the Blackmagic is that the screen is not tiltable. That's where the sharp comes into play and gives you uh, that capability of doing low angle shots and stuff like that. Uh, Alrighty, so we are going to introduce you to one of their representatives who is going to talk a little bit more about the product. If, uh, welcome back to the channel. Last year we were here and uh, when last year we saw this camera, we were super excited about this camera. Uh, I think you guys are on the final stages of yeah. making this uh, dream come true, I would say. Right. It's an 8K dream for all of us who are video creators or content creators. Why? Because uh, there is nothing in the market as compact when it comes to 8K because even a uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K is bigger than that and uh, also the next step up is a red cam and everything. Right. So can you just uh, mention a little bit about what all the ports are available out there and uh, you know what sort of uh, you know right. codec it's shooting? Sure. So as we discussed, it's a Micro Four Thirds uh, CMOS, yeah. Micro Four Thirds uh, lens. Um, you can see here on the side, we got the XLR input, full-size HDMI. Last year it was a, a mini HDMI port, this is much easier. Um, USB-C, and you got your headphone and microphone jack. And then you can see we still have this wonderful 5-inch full HD touch display for operation, menu operation and uh, video. Yeah, I think the most exciting part is the 5-inch screen. Yeah. That is a touch. Because uh, a lot of the time you see uh, the setups that we use is an external monitor and everything to get those accurate colors. Right. This will solve actually all those problems by a built-in five inch display that will also give you a 1080p out. Uh, SD card slot uh, and, and battery slot also here on the side. So apart from uh, Sharp making one of uh, the 8K cameras, it is also a very, very good, uh, you know, like a regular photography camera because it is 33 megapixels, right? right, right. So that is a good news about that. Cliff is that uh, 8K at 30, but what about other codecs? So we could also do 4K um, at, at 60p. 4K at 60. Or okay. HD at 60p Perfect. as well. Okay, so no 120 on HD? No 120. 120. 60, which also works good for us. And uh, you know, thank you, Cliff. Thank you a lot. Oh, my uh, I'm super excited about uh, the 8K. 
uh, we will be waiting for a launch and uh, we will be super excited to see this come out in the market because this is so innovational that this will push a lot of other companies uh, to get more affordable 8Ks. Uh, the price we do not know yet, right? Below 4,000. Below 4,000. An 8K camera below 4,000 is amazing. Okay. We're super excited. Thank you guys. Thank you for uh, sharing all this all right. info. Thanks for coming by. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is the camera of CS 2020 that we will be waiting for. We need an 8K camera at that price point. So thank you. See you guys later on another episode.